Hello YouTube. In this video I want to talk about how I clean my air rifle. So I'm going to show you how I clean the inside of the barrel with a very easy method. And um, I'm going to show you um, what I do to keep it from rusting. Very easy. But yeah. Uh, I'll start by showing you how I clean the barrel. Uh, I do it maybe once every thousand shots or so but I um, don't know how long it has been now because I don't really use this air gun uh, anymore but um, for the sake of the video I will sh just show you how I, how I clean the barrel uh, you only need two things for this or three a pair of scissors these regular uh, kitchen cleaning cloths very cheap and a thin thread you could use uh, the ones from a sewing kit or so something like that but yeah take one of these cloths Take the scissors and cut out a very tiny uh, strip. This one is uh, 0.177, so it's a small caliber, so I only need a small strip for um, 0.22, you need a little bit bigger, and so on. As you can see, I'm gonna put this uh, on the middle of that piece of cloth and just tie your regular knots in it. And you have to adjust the size of this cloth uh, while you're doing it. Maybe you need a little bit bigger. Maybe it's too big. Um, this is what we're gonna pull through the barrel, and uh, you don't want too much pressure on this uh, in the barrel. So don't make don't make it too big. All right. Uh, now ready to clean the barrel. First of all. Um, this particular air rifle needs to be cocked to uh, get inside the barrel, so I'm going to do that first. Make sure the safety is on. We don't want uh, to shoot it without a bullet, it's not good for the gun. And now comes the interesting part. The vacuum cleaner. Right, what we're gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna put the vacuum on the um, end of the barrel and I'm gonna put the thread inside uh, the bullet chamber or the pellet chamber and it will suck the thread right through You can see there's a piece of cloth, and now I'm going to uh, pull this in gently, not too hard. It shouldn't it shouldn't have too much friction with the barrel. It can um, it's a bad thing to damage the um, the barrel the inside of the barrel. So it should have a little bit of resistance, of course. The white won't be cleaning it, but um, you shouldn't have to be uh, using force to get through. 
front. And I'll show you. As you can see, focus, yes. As you can see, that's uh, dirt, stuff, uh, lead from the pellets. And uh, yeah, uh, you need to, you need to clean it once in a while, not not too often. Um, I never actually had pellets that started acting strange, uh, losing accuracy, just uh, because my inside of my barrel was was uh, a little bit dirty. But I've heard complaints on the internet, and people say clean your barrel, and uh, it often works. But I've done it ever since uh, since I had it. Um, after a thousand pellets or so, just uh, repeat this process um, a few times. May maybe if it's really dirty on the inside, you need to change the cloth a um, few times. But yeah, you can you can keep on doing this until uh, almost nothing is, is sticking to the cloth anymore. So. Um, well, I'll just I'll just do it one more time for fun. So yeah, that's it for cleaning the barrel. Um, I'm not gonna film it all. Uh, we'll do it a few more times with a clean with a clean piece of cloth. Um, I'll show you what I use to uh, clean the pellet gun. Just uh, took a regular piece of paper towel and this is what I use this is a ballistol uh, it says you it is uh, usable for firearms but also other stuff uh, so yeah good stuff S it smells um, to use it too often in your house I don't think it's good for your health Right, just spray some on the barrel, paper towel, and wipe that. And this will keep it from rusting, and it also removes uh, rust particles that are on the barrel already. As you can see, it's all rust, and uh, I will repeat that on the main part of the main compartment of the gun. Oop. I don't think it is harmful to uh, spray this inside the barrel. I wouldn't recommend it, but um, never put grease inside your barrel or something like that. Never, never do that.
so look at that that's all rust and dirt from this gun and uh, this one has uh, ABS plastic um, body but if you have uh, let's say a wooden wal walnut stock on your gun you can use uh, linseed oil or uh, Danish oil to um, Danish oil is really nice to uh, give give it that uh, nice glance nice uh, shellac look well this is uh, carefree it's it's nice to have I really like this this uh, ABS stock of course the wood is more beautiful but this is foolproof so that's nice so yeah, that is how I uh, clean my barrel and how I uh, maintain my gun, my air gun. So yeah, it was really easy. Um, so yeah, when I first got my first air gun, um, it was hard to, f to find a good way to clean the barrel for me. Um, I was 15 so I didn't really have much money for cleaning kits and stuff so I had to be uh, improvising and I saw I think I saw someone do this on the internet and it really worked so I thought I'll share this with you uh, yeah you have all kinds of fancy stuff on the market like uh, soft uh, cleaning pellets uh, a pellet you load in the, in the barrel and shoot it to clean the barrel they say um, I've also heard people that had them stuck inside the barrel so I, I, I wouldn't use those uh, of course you have the the cleaning sticks and stuff I don't know what that is called in English but um, yeah there are all fancy stuff and it, and it costs quite a lot of money uh, just for cleaning your barrel if you have of course if you have uh, an expensive firearms you should you should get the proper stuff but with an uh, with an air gun, this method is uh, perfect. Works great. So yeah, uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.